Recall earlier this year when the Internal Revenue Service, that kind, gentle, well-meaning government agency that is here only to help each and every one of us, told us about this little hacking thing that may have exposed a few of us to evil hackers seeking to steal everything we own. That ever so tiny incident is just a mite larger, sorry to say, but fear not, remember, the IRS is your friend, your buddy, your pal, here to help each of us grow and prosper. Think nothing of that figurative ball-peen hammer they hold above your head. It's only for show. Time to leave fantasy land behind. Let's get to it. The IRS screwed up again. It won't be the last time, and you better believe they are still out there targeting those people they consider the wrong types. Our guest spent 33 years employed by the IRS, now dedicates himself to revelation about this dastardly agency. His book thus entitled, IRS Whistleblower, My 33 Years as an IRS Insider. Welcome Richard Schickel to the hard line. Richard, thanks so much for being here. I'm glad to see you have a smile on your face after that wonderful introduction tells us all about the IRS. But in light of what we're finding out here now, that as many as 330,000 accounts were gained access to, they tried to break into maybe an additional 280,000. Can we just say beyond the shadow of any doubt, this is the most outdated, outmoded agency in the federal government, bar none? Exactly. I mean, that, the, the big problem is the 54-year-old uh, computer system, which runs on an IBM 370. Uh, it runs on BASIC, Cobalt, and uh, Fortran. And basically, it, the, the system is very secure normally because it's so obsolete. Wait a minute, but when we're talking about obsolete, Richard, this is the IRS. They have access to every single nickel in America. Why is it that this most important agency, whether you love them or hate them, is basically operating like they're in the Flintstone days? I, a, a gross mismanagement and incompetence, I think, is really the only thing you can hang your head on. They've had the funding over the years, but they've not uh, wisely uh, invested in a new computer system, which is causing all the problems. Is maybe the most important thing, if we're going to talk about the IRS, is to look ourselves in the mirror and say, if you think the IRS is going to be reasonable <coughs> and try to help you in everything that you do, then you are working on a different planet, young man or young woman. You need to bring your head out of the clouds and get yourself right into reality, because that will never happen. That, and that's true, because the system is designed for people that they believe are cheating and, with, uh, and not paying taxes. So you, it's, it's rare to get a fair shake. Uh, there are good people in the IRS who would like to make a difference, but the system and, and the management system just really doesn't support that. Uh, it, it supports punishing you, making, uh, uh, drawing a line in the sand, and, uh, and uh, just really trying to hurt you instead of really resolve the case for the best for you and for the government. Let's talk about that hurting here. Now, the IRS has been involved in political dirty tricks now for decades. Is there any reason to believe that right now, as we sit here today, that the IRS has changed in any way, shape, or form, that they are far and above that, and that they don't look for people, target them, and go after them just as hard tooth and nail as they possibly can, because they can? Uh, it, it, nothing has changed since I joined the IRS. Uh, <laughs> A lot of things happened in 1998 where the law changed, but then they just had to get more covert in how they exercise the power that they have. So they still uh, follow the same agenda, uh, making uh, making examples of people and, and trying to hurt people instead of trying to just administer a fair uh, and equitable tax system. So one of the solutions that we hear from the politicians, a number of them is, get rid of the IRS. That's it. Blow them out all over. This is a company, a, an agency that collects about $3 trillion a year. And you have said that if you want to get rid of the IRS, I believe the word you used was insane. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like it's saying that we're going to get rid of uh, Walmart. I mean, it's a big company. It makes $3.1 trillion a year in, in gross receipts. And, and really, it's not the income tax so much uh, because only 50% of people actually pay income tax of the people who file. It's that this is the, uh, the IRS is the largest collector of the Social Security and Medicare tax. And, and that is the 15.3% that they're getting out of uh, self-employed people and out of uh, people who work for companies. The, the company pays half and they pay half. So uh, that's something people aren't talking about. It's not the income tax, it's the Social Security tax because that's in the, uh, the, the IRS has their hands in the pocket of every 
person who works in the United States through this uh, uh, administration of the way they do the tax. We can feel them in our pocket all the time. 30 seconds left here. So then with you, your knowledge and the book, what is the one thing that people need to take away about the IRS? What can they learn by reading that book? They can learn uh, that you can have hope and you can deal with the IRS and you don't need to live in fear because ultimately you have the power not the IRS. The IRS is like uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz. It's a big paper tiger. Don't be afraid. Don't give up your case. Have uh, Have you been audited recently? <laughs> um, I, I'm audited. I, I have been audited every year for the last 33 years because all IRS employees are audited every. Uh -huh. year. So, wow. How lucky, yeah. how lucky are you? Uh, the book, once again, <laughs> Learn People. It's called IRS Whistleblower, My 33 Years as an IRS Insider. We'll show you the secrets of how to engage the IRS. Richard Schickel, thanks so much for being here. We'll talk again soon. Coming up next, Telling It Like It Is, presenting undoubtedly the bravest individual to lead America.